With Ready or Not, Void Interactive aims to explore what it's like to be an officer in the elite Special Weapons and Tactics Unit, also known as SWAT. What's up everybody, to right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today we're just going to be looking at a couple of things that were said over on their Twitter. It's going to be a very short video in case you couldn't tell. But let's just go ahead and get into it, huh? So what did they say? They give a little more detail as to what we're going to see in the alpha. This is what it says. In the alpha, you'll be able to experience a sampling of the following features at launch. Single player, one map. Co-op, one map. PvP multiplayer, three maps. 10 weapons, all tactical devices, all tactical deployables. Content will be subject to change and updates as the alpha progresses. See you soon. So because the Ready or Not community is completely insane, one maniac took the time to go through all the trailers, pictures, and weapons mentioned by the developers and jam-packed them all into an IMFDB page for Ready or Not. So if you wanted to, you can actually go to this page and see what all the weapons that are going to be featured in Ready or Not are. Just keep in mind that this isn't the full list of weapons because it hasn't actually been released just yet. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I kind of want to play a little game with you guys. Well, technically for the people that are only in the alpha. It's called, Can You Guess What Weapon Is Going To Be In The Alpha? According to the Twitter post, they're only going to feature 10 guns in the alpha. So I am putting the link of this page in the description. I want you to go through and write down 10 of those weapons and put them in a comment down below just to tell me what you think. I'll somehow go into the alpha, check out all the guns, and see who is the most correct. Is there a prize? Uh... No. I will post the winner as soon as we're allowed to talk more about the alpha. But yeah, it's just, it's just a little game, you know? Now, if you're someone that's in the alpha, you already know what the maps actually are. There's just been like so much information that dropped for only the people that are in the alpha. And it kind of sucks that I can't share anything. But that's just how it be, I guess. All right, well, continuing on from that, somebody had asked if we could expect any customization in the first alpha build. And Void Interactive replied to him saying, yes, you'll have access to all of the customization that affects gameplay. As the purpose of the alpha is to trial these systems, you'll also be be able to pick your character and unit skin so does that mean i'm going to be able to actually use the uh, supporter edition skin i mean i guess that would make sense i mean why wouldn't i because that would be kind of neat be honest so they released the same update on their twitter that they did on their instagram but um they actually added a little more detail into it saying the ready or not alpha testing is launching midnight at 12 a.m gmt august 19th once live the alpha will be running just before the beta launches in mid 2020 the alpha will not be close to players who decide to purchase after the launch. Yeah, so I've noticed that there's a lot of people that seem to be asking that question of, you know, uh, is the alpha still going to be open? Or how do I get into the alpha? And the answer is, if you want to get into the alpha, you have to purchase that $120 supporter edition. The alpha is going to run from August 19th through one week before the beta, which is June of 2020. The alpha is going to have times when it shuts down for updates, cycling out content, or fixing bugs. But that's just standard stuff when it comes to an alpha. I thought that I would just add it in here because there's just been a whole lot of questions about the same thing over and over again so there isn't going to be a whole lot of content when it comes to ready or not like the only people that are going to get a whole lot of content out of the alpha are the people that actually got into it so one of the redditors over on the ready or not reddit was actually asking me if i wanted to do a series on nothing but ready or not memes like just have like a i don't know like a 10 minute video or 30 minute video once a week of nothing but ready or not memes the reason i didn't cover the ready or not memes was because i just wanted to get all the information but now that the information is going to be a little scarce i think i might go back and look at all the funny memes and just upload them like once a week of course it's going to be heavily edited like you know like i don't know like a pewdiepie video or something i don't know what are your guys thoughts on that i'm going to be doing a meme video on recent events that covers something else not ready or not in particular but it's basically like a taste of what a ready or not meme series would be so stay Stay tuned for that and tell me what you think down in the comments below. If you like the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, ding the bell, share the video. If you want to support me, check out my NordVPN link that's down below. Only $2.99 a month. It really helps, actually. Or if you want to be one of those cool guys, send me two bucks on my Patreon. And with that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye